Let's make this a quick one. What happens if you don't poison the Emperor's meal with the Jiren root? When you go and talk to this mean lady, uh, she's going. you're going to tell her you are the gourmet. Of course you are not. Uh, you are going to run through a cycle of uh, ingredients to put inside the Emperor's meal, and then at the very end of it, she's going to ask you if there is anything else you would like to put in the meal. You'll have two options just to serve the meal or to add one more ingredient, which is the Jiren root, which is supposed to kill the Emperor. But what happens if we don't poison the Emperor's meal? On another delivery. I told you people are stuck on my foot. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, uh, is that it? As you can see here, we have two more options. We can serve the meal as it is. We're done. Let us serve the whatever the fuck this thing is called. And then the option you're supposed to choose is actually there's one final ingredient. Add this. And it's give the Jiren root. Which is supposed to be the thing that actually kills the Emperor once he takes a bite of his food upstairs. But there's an option not to do that. So what happens if you don't poison the Emperor's meal? Excellent. They should be ready for us now. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are... You can see we just got the objective to kill the emperor. Which is what's supposed to happen as soon as he takes a bite of his poisoned food. Unless you did not poison his food. No danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha, here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I, of course, reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh. Oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It... And just then is where he was supposed to drop dead. What happens if you didn't poison his food? To everything I had hoped it would be. Please, everyone, enjoy. Everyone begins eating. Nobody dies because it's just food. I mean, I put a bunch of vampire dust and giant toes inside there, but they're just eating the meal now. Enjoying their meal peacefully with no death at all. Run right around here. The door is locked. You cannot go through. You can wait an hour. You can wait 24 hours. Nothing will happen. They will just continue sitting here and eating their food and slurping. The only way to proceed with the quest now is to kill the gourmet. I mean, kill the emperor. <laughs> You're damn right it's an honor. One second. And just like that, the Emperor is dead. Well, the fake Emperor is dead. You can take his clothes if you want to, I usually do. Um, nothing happens. There is no change. You now just have the objective to escape the tower, which if you go through here, you will proceed the same way that same thing that usually happens. You go outside, you get ambushed by the general. He tells you that Astrid betrayed you and he's betraying her in return and burning down the sanctuary as we speak we rush to the emperor's defense sorry the sanctuary's defense and uh that's it absolutely nothing happens if you choose not to poison the emperor's meal
That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. 